Hello guys, welcome in the new video about Lexus GS. Today I'm going to count all the buttons in that car, excluding buttons in the back seats and trunk. In modern cars you usually have mostly digital screens and not that many buttons at all, what sometimes can even be annoying when you want to change the radio volume for example. And you have to do it on screen as well. Although this Lexus also has a digital touchscreen, it still has a lot of buttons, probably more than most of cars have, so I decided to count it all, because you may be surprised. Let's start with the steering wheel. On the left side we have 5 buttons to control the radio, like volume, station or track and mode. On the right we have 4 buttons for calls, display between dials and voice control. Behind that is a cruise control with on-off button and settings. A bit higher we have a windshield wipers control and on the left lights. I counted all together as 3 buttons, plus of course the power button, so that's 4 in total. Let's move to the center console. On the left buttons for climate, audio, setup and display. Below that's a temperature buttons. On the right buttons for maps, navigation system and phone. And below a passenger temperature as well. So that's 11 in total. Let's move a bit lower. 6 buttons for climate control and emergency lights below. So that's 7. Going lower we have buttons for audio system. Changing stations, volume, choosing a source. So if to skip the knobs and count only buttons that you can press, it's 11. Before the passenger seat there is a button for cupboard and inside that a button for trunk opener. That's 2. Moving to the doors. On the passenger side you can find 7 buttons, 4 with seat settings, 2 for locking and unlocking the doors and 1 for window. On the left side we have more or less the same but we have controls over all windows, so that results in 11 buttons. Going further to the seat settings we have 4 buttons. There are more configurations but let's count it like that. The same goes on passenger side, so that's next 8 buttons in total. Next on the gear selector. One button for shift lock and five hidden buttons. Two of them aren't really buttons, but I decided to count them as well. So first two are for heating and ventilating seats, and then we have three buttons for driving and suspension modes and traction control. That's 6 buttons here. The next place, 2 buttons for fuel and trunk, 1 small cupboard, and 1 with even more buttons. Here we have the rear blinder, parking sensors, lights, mirrors, and settings of mirrors. Some button that I don't really know what it does, alarm, and six buttons for the screen between dials. The last one, about which I almost forgot, for settings of steering wheel. That's 15. Well, there were more buttons about which I forgot, so I had to record it separately. A dimmer on the mirror, and next 5 buttons to control the LED lights inside of the car. If I'm not mistaken, that makes it all a 102 different buttons. Over a hundred buttons in a car. I think that's a very impressive score, especially nowadays when all the options you have on digital touchscreen. Which this car has anyway as well. Let me know in the comment section if you know any car that has even more buttons. I guess there are, but for sure not many of them. 
Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next videos.